people believe you and Drake don't get along because he responded to you and you dissing his latest album. Is that true? Do you guys not get along? Is that Hollywood? Is that real? It's 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 nothing. Like it it's not about nothing. I think what people don't realize about Drake is Drake has a really uh, really great sense of humor. Mm. And I think me and him actually probably share a dark sense of humor, you know? So whenever he puts out an album, he'll hit me up and be like, "Yo, I need you to like, you know, blast this album a little bit." tell people that you don't like it, whatever, whatever. You know, just be critical of it. That's, that's the thing, be critical of it. And I'm like, Drake, you don't need it. You're already Drake. You're the biggest, you know, star in the world. He's like, no, nah, I want you to be critical of it. It'll bring more attention to it. You know, we have some fun. Now, I just lied to you, but that means nothing. <laughs> that means nothing that I just lied to you, and you should believe me because I'm lying. Okay, you just lied to me about what? That whole, everything I just said. That you and Drake are not friends? Oh, we're not friends, but we're, we're, we're cordial, you know what I mean? Like, you, wouldn't not call, my friend. Not, like, you wouldn't call him your friend. No, 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 we don't hang out, you know what I mean? Like, I've only met him, like, one time, you know? You, know, you might but you send guys some messages text here and there. back and forth. He mentions you in albums. You guys have a rapport. He mentioned me a couple times. We have a rapport. I feel like, uh, I think he's a, we're, we're, I don't know what you would call that. It's like a, in sports when it's like that athlete that has that, like, one media personality, like how that Ali had Cosell. And Pat McAfee and Aaron Rodgers, similar. Yeah, but we but the difference is me and Drake have never sat down and had a conversation. Okay. We just do this thing through the media and through, you know, his music. And, and you I guess guys on social media. And it works because it puts both you guys in the headlines. Yeah. I mean, listen, I used to hate on Drake back in the day. Mm -hmm. I can say that. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not one of these new Drake haters. Drake got a lot of new haters, <laughs> which makes me not want to be a hater of Drake. It makes anymore. you want to be his friend again. Exactly. You know what I mean? And yeah. I feel like over the years, my criticism of him has gotten a lot fairer. But back then, I did, my criticism was not fair at all. I'd be like, yo, Drake look like a thumb with eyebrows. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, like, literally, I'd be like, that's a pretty albino girl. I used to say stuff like that. <laughs> Just to, just to, I don't know why I would say it. Because it, you know why I would say it? Because it would garner attention. Correct. You know what I mean? Like it would garner attention. So that's why I would say it. But now it's just like. So, but now when you guys have this back and forth, is it the attention you want, or is it the no, attention just, he wants? No, I didn't even feel like the last thing I said was wrong. I, bad. I was just like we was talking about the new record, which Scissor slime you out, and I just felt like there's, that that record didn't really have any momentum. It's like yo. Nobody really cared, you know, but then he, he debuted at number one because he does have such a massive fan base of people that are always going to be curious about his music. So when you got, you know, 30 plus million people screaming it and radio playing it, you know, the 5.4 million radio impressions, it's going to chart. So it charted at number one and then it, it dropped off out of the top 10. But now his new album's out. I think he's going to do 450,000 in the first week. I think like 17 out of the top 20 songs are going to be Drake records for the week. So it's just like... Even with people having an opinion about this album and not necessarily liking it, that's not stopping nothing. Because my daddy always told me, you're never as good as they say you are and you're never as bad as they say you are. That is a true story. So you'll have millions of people saying they don't like something, but you'll have millions of people supporting it, and all they do is argue with each other, and it causes a great conversation that goes viral every other day, and you win. So I, I, I am curious about your world because it's far different than my world. It's really not. Well, in the sense it's, that... It's about time you start telling people how ghetto you are. I'm sick oh, yeah. of, I'm sick of no, people I think they know. not knowing how ghetto no, and ratchet you really are. I think they and know. I mean that in a respectful oh, way. Yeah, of course, I think they know. You, okay. okay. I, I'm, I'm right. sure. I've taken my hair off on TV a few times. Really? Uh-huh. That's I've, not real? <laughs> <laughs>